I'm Luke Tai from Danger Close Games. I'm a producer on Medal of Honor Warfighter. What we're showing here at the show is a mission in Baslan, Philippines. And it follows a preacher and mother who are returning from 2010. And in this particular mission and in all of our missions, there are um, nuggets of inspiration from actual news uh, story headlines. And that really works towards our goal of create crafting and delivering to Medal of Honor fans a truly authentic experience. This year, we're going global with the Warfighter concept, and um, players from all around the globe have their pick of the litter of Tier 1 operators um, from all across um, uh, the, the world in different nations. Uh, you know, you can play as uh, Polish Grom or British SAS, uh, Australian SASR, you, uh, of course, US Navy's, uh, Navy SEALs. So, um, you know, we really wanted to expand that concept and, and take it to the next level this year. Last year, DICE delivered Battlefield 3, powered by Frostbite 2. We're evolving it this year for Medal of Honor Warfighter. It provides us a really solid foundation for the game. It takes care of um, so many problems that teams, development teams would have to solve. You know, we have uh, super immersive visual and audio effects, uh, super fluid uh, animations, destruction within the game, um, you know, you just see it for yourself in the demo today and, and uh, it'll be clear why we chose it. We're in a very hot period right now. Um, the game comes out October 23rd in the US, October 26th uh, or 25th in Australia. Uh, here in Japan, it comes out uh, November 1st. So we're right there. We're weeks away from uh, releasing. So we're really excited to show uh, Medal of Honor fans all that we have to offer this year. You know, what you saw today was only a hint at the, the different surprises we have in store. There are some that we're caught keeping uh, top, top secret, and I think that's really going to delight and surprise a lot of players. <laughs>